Why is Delta different? That's our main topic today. Gavin, tell us what you have recently uncovered. Yes, this is a great question, Jeff. There's just so much information out there now. So you know, ISSA, as well as GBAC being a division of ISSA, we want to bring that information to you so you understand it. So the Delta virus still causes COVID-19 disease. That hasn't, that hasn't changed. But the Delta virus, all this new research that's going on, has shown it is very different than all the previous variants that we've had. And I'll give you some examples. A study has just come out, Jeff, and here's an analogy that other scientists are using, so it's not mine, but I'm borrowing it from them. And they said, think of all the other variants like syrup and how they are likely to stick to the cells in your body because they've got to enter the cells to make you sick. It's like syrup. The Delta variant is like super glue. So, the, or gorilla super glue. It doesn't matter what super glue, it's like super glue. So when you look at the changes in the spike protein, it's a lot stickier, which means it, it enters our body, our cells a lot easier. Well, let's talk about kids, Gavin. Why are more kids getting sick today than before? A couple of reasons, Jeff. Um, one of the things that we've found is that really, if, if you've read the news, you've watched the TV, the number of people that are getting infected with this Delta variant, the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19, it's among the unvaccinated. And again, a lot of the kids haven't been vaccinated. Again, we don't have a vaccine for kids under the age of 12, for example. And again, it's summer, so everyone's crowding around indoor spaces, outdoor spaces. That leads to transmission of, of any infectious disease, be it bacteria or virus. But it's really because they are vulnerable now because they're not vaccinated. And again, you, you, you just have to you know, watch the news, read the newspaper, and you see those numbers of hospitalizations increasing every day. And you hear the reports of more kids being tested positive every day. So some might say, well, I'm vaccinated, so I won't get infected. Tell us about that. Well, there's a couple of other things, Jeff, that we need to know about the Delta virus. Another study showed that whether you're vaccinated or not vaccinated, if you get infected, so remember vaccinated people can still get infected by the SARS-CoV-2 virus. If you get infected, you're likely to have more than a thousand times the virus in the back of your throat compared to all the other variants of SARS-CoV-2 virus. So it's making a lot more virus. The other, the other point that, that, that came out was that um, it doesn't take you know, with this more virus, you become more infectious. And it's really important to understand that, you know, on previous studies, the previous variants, we used what's called an R naught. And that R naught shows that if one person gets infected, how, how many other people are they likely to infect? Now, the R naught of previous viruses was about 2 to 2.5. So it means one person gets infected, they're likely to infect maybe two, maybe up to three. But the R naught of the Delta variant is eight. So one person gets infected, they're likely to infect eight other people. Now we know that both vaccinated and unvaccinated can get infected, but the un it's the unvaccinated we're really worried about at the moment. So it's really important that we understand, Jeff, that again, both vaccinated and vaccinated can get infected. And this is just a more infectious virus because of the mutations we've seen on that spike protein. I have to say, Gavin, your analogy of the super glue is not very encouraging. We know that when you get it on your skin it, or anything, it sticks. And so if that's how we're comparing this Delta variant, that's not good news. So tell us this, what happens next? What do we look forward to? Well, what's, what's what we're seeing now? Again, more research is being done all the time. Jeff, if you're vaccinated and you get infected with the Delta variant, you're, the likelihood, of, first of all, the likelihood of getting infected is three times less three times less likely if you're getting versus being vaccinated and not vaccinated. You're eight times less likely to get symptoms. That's huge. And again, what we're seeing, the symptoms of vaccinated people infected by the Delta variant, maybe a headache, congestion, a runny nose, maybe some a fever, some body aches, um, sneezing, maybe some coughing, but they're not going to hospital. And another study has just come out, Jeff, that showed that that if you're vaccinated and you get infected by Delta, the Delta variant, you're 25 times less likely to have to go to the hospital. So the symptoms come and the symptoms go. You're also 25 times less likely to die from COVID-19. Now this other, there's another study, and I'm trying, I'm, I'm overwhelming you with studies today, but it's really important. These are just you know, hot off the press. Another study has shown an unvaccinated person gets infected with the Delta variant. They produce about a thousand times of the more more virus in the back of the throat. A vaccinated person gets infected with the Delta variant. They produce also about a thousand times more virus in the back of the throat. 
But what happens five days after being infected? This is where the big change is. Five days after being infected with the Delta variant in a vaccinated person, the virus is, is, is decreased significantly. In some people, it's gone. Five days in an unvaccinated person, you still have lots and lots of virus. So another benefit now of getting vaccinated is that, again, the symptoms don't last as long. They're not as severe. But more importantly, you don't spread the virus as in as many days as if you're unvaccinated. After about day five, a vaccinated person no longer is spreading the virus. This is big news.